Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Paul Krieger, and I'm the Curriculum and Media Arts Coordinator at Gordon Parks High School. We're here today to celebrate the students. Both, um, Agape, Journeys, and Gordon Parks High School have a deep commitment to inspiring lifelong learning and improving lives through education. And we're thrilled to welcome students, parents, and friends of the graduating class of 2019. Members of the school board, administration, community members, thank you for helping us celebrate the graduation of our students and their great accomplishments this evening. At this time, would everyone please stand as we pay respects by singing our national anthem. Please be seated. Many students are recognized for their academic performance while in high school. Additionally, many of our students are accepted into colleges and universities to continue their studies. So before we get too far into the program, please note the program insert where many of the students that are listed who received awards. Please take a moment to review those award winners in the program as I read the names. And please save your applause till I've completed the reading. So again, in the program, from the 2019 Agape High School Award recipients, the Turnaround Award, Glenda Vasquez, Integrity Award, Sher Poe, Perseverance Award, Nisha Hankerson, Outstanding Award, Miley Hang. Now moving on to the Gordon Parks Award winners on the same sheet. Turnaround Award, Ramel Adams. Integrity Award, Anissa Omar. Perseverance Award, Mariah Mason. Outstanding Award, Kenya Gray. Gordon Parks Legacy Award, Diego Velasquez Luz. Congratulations. And I also want to point out that there are the names of the colleges that students to have been accepted to at the bottom of the form. Now, at this time, I'd like to call your attention to a Gordon Parks High School student who, in addition to academic success, has become a leader at our school. Mariah Mason is a 2019 graduate of Gordon Parks High School and a Perseverance Award winner. Mariah? My fellow graduates and friends, it is an honor to speak to you all today. Before I go on, I would like to put your minds at ease. Many people say that today is the day we start our journey. I disagree. The journey began a long time ago. 
Today just happens to be the day where the paths we have been traveling on switch into different ways. Up until now, we have been a team walking as one. We have all done it and we have all done it together. Many of us attended various schools in this district since we started kindergarten 14 years ago. And I wanted to take us back to the days when we started our journey. Parents and grandparents used to walk us to the bus stop where roughly thousands of pictures were taken. Our parents cried on our first day of school, waking us up early mornings for breakfast, school meetings, and conferences. For me, graduating means a bigger step to a bigger life. In four years, I have overcome so many obstacles. I can honestly say my junior year was my hardest year. Transitioning schools and starting over was a lot for me, but I pushed through and still managed to get everything done. I have worked so hard for the position I am in now. Looking back on my past, it has been so many times I have thought I would never make it to the finish line. Now that I am here, I want to give a big thanks to Gordon Parks and every teacher that has helped and encouraged me to do better. To all my fellow students and graduates, we have a long way and I wish nothing but success for all of you. I leave all of you today with a quote from Benjamin Franklin. Graduation day brings with it a roller coaster of emotions for grads and their families alike. It is a time of celebration and achievement. There is a reflection on past trials and success and investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Class of 2019, we made it. Thank you. That was great. So good. Thank you. Thanks, Mariah, for sharing your story. We're really proud of you. Every year, we appreciate the opportunity to have a school board member send greetings from the St. Paul Public School Board at our graduation. I'd like to introduce Mary Vanderwert, SPPS Board Director. Hello, everybody, graduates, families, uh, my esteemed colleagues. Um, it is an extreme honor for, for me to be with you. I, um, I, I like this graduation the best. It has, it has the most meaning. I know that for many of you, this hasn't been easy. You haven't maybe loved school. You have maybe had some ways of making choices that didn't necessarily profit you. Um, some of you have been raising children while you've been going to school. So I appreciate the struggle this has been, and I, I celebrate with you that you've accomplished this. This is a huge milestone. So from all of us, a really heartfelt congratulations. So besides those struggles, you have distinguished yourselves. Um, I expect that you've learned many things in your classrooms, so you're prepared academically. But maybe more importantly, you've learned some pretty important skills. You've learned to manage your time. You've used your creativity to solve problems and to create beauty. You've learned how to work with others, and some of them may have even given you new ways of thinking. You've had to communicate ideas both in writing and in speaking and you've been taught to think critically and defend your thoughts. These are skills that will serve you well as you move forward to your goals, no matter what they are. So I do hope you've had some fun too and that you've made some good friends. Those friends may last with you for the rest of your lives. Um, but this time is, is really, with us is just the beginning. You have so many years ahead that will be filled with opportunities to challenge yourself, to explore other parts of the world, meet amazing and inspiring people, and to lead and inspire others as well. Know that we will always be your cheerleaders, and we will be here to support you should you need help in the future. Families, we want to thank you for sharing your kids with us and for, sh and for choosing the St. Paul Public Schools as your family's education partner. It has been a great privilege for us. So congratulations to you as well on making it to this milestone. Believe me, your role is not over. There are many more joys and worries to come. The support and love you've provided your graduate to this point has been critical to their success and to ours. 
They and we could not have done it without you. So graduates, this, is, this diploma is the foundation you need for getting more education, for starting your career, joining the military, or whatever plans you have for your future. Whatever it is you choose, remember the words of the famous philosopher Audrey Hepburn. She said, nothing is impossible. Even the word says, I'm possible. The world is out there waiting for you, and anything is possible. So we, we wish you the very best as you, as, you, as you begin this next part of your life. Know that we are very proud of you and all that you've accomplished, and wish you the very best in the years to come. It's been a privilege to be a part of your journey. Our heartiest congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Director Vanderwerk. At this time, I'd like to call your attention to an Agape student, Melanie Booker, who will speak for us. Melanie is a 2019 graduate of Agape High School and recipient of several department awards. Melanie? Welcome faculty, family members, and of course, the class of 2019 to this amazing occasion. My message today is to be open to new people and new life experiences, although it may seem hard at first. Looking back at our four years, I know a lot of us wish we could have done something differently, but I don't. The reason is because I'm a strong believer of everything happens for a reason. I have a quote for you all. What lies behind us and what lies before us are all small matters compared to what lies within us. Ralph Waldo Emerson. This is the perfect quote when I think about who I was four years ago and who I am today. Today I am a mother. Today I am a graduate. Today I am a better me. I would have never thought about speaking at graduation four years ago. I hated the beginning of high school. The drama, the crowded hallways annoyed me feeling like I had something to prove, whether it was socially or academically. But I learned a lot in these four years about myself. I'm self-reliant, passionate, and a lot of times I'm indecisive and impulsive. Sometimes I'm my worst enemy and my biggest critic. I now realize what I loved about high school, the opportunity to meet new people and get out of my comfort zone. High school made me understand myself. I found out I was pregnant at 16, and for a long time I was scared and embarrassed. But every day I think of how much I need and love my daughter. I probably wouldn't be standing here without her. She taught me patience, resilience, and courage. I moved over five times after my daughter was born. Nowhere ever felt like home. I suffered a lot with dealing with depression, postpartum depression. Depression tried its best to hold me down but it was my desirable difficulty, as I learned from our English text, David and Goliath. Our desirable difficulties are the obstacles that by overcoming make us stronger and better people. I learned to never let my sadness or obstacles get the best of me. You haven't let them get the best of you either. That's why you're here today. A lot of people told me I was gonna graduate, but I'm gonna make sure to show them not only will I graduate high school, but I'll graduate college with my daughter on my hip. I'll never let them take my confidence from me. My daughter was the blessing I needed. I couldn't have asked for a better daughter. She's the happiest baby you'll ever meet. She's smart and beautiful. Without my daughter, I would have never been able to attend Agape. That was the biggest blessing in disguise. I can't wait to make her proud and everything I do is for her. Agape wasn't just a school to me. It was the only place that felt like home to me. I knew Agape was the school for me when I took an hour bus ride there and back with a baby from Minneapolis to St. Paul every day. They're like the perfect family, and that's really impossible, but they were. I'm thankful I found a school that looked at me as an individual and not just like another student. I'm so glad they saw something in me I didn't see in myself walking in. Thank you for the event sessions and pep talks. Thank you for actually caring. Thank you. 
I appreciate you all for making me feel a part of a community. I'm especially grateful for all the times Ms. Halverson pushed me to do better in AVID. She always made me go back and think deeper, even when I wanted to take the easy way out. AVID helped me ask myself more questions instead of trying to figure it out by myself. I learned to take responsibility for my actions, and it's okay to ask for help. I'm going to miss Agape. I don't know if I'm happy or sad, but I know we've all cried at least once today. I've had a lot of obstacles in the last two years, but like I said, everything happens for a reason, and it's been instrumental to my growth. It feels extremely amazing tonight to say I'm graduating. Being a teen mom made me value a lot of things, like my life. But most importantly, it made me value myself. Through this whole high school experience, I got to meet some of the most amazing people, from the girl with the twins who still comes to school looking pretty, even though I know it's hard to get two kids ready for school and have time for yourself. I really admire my peers. I admire the teachers who always made me feel smart, even when I'm wrong or repeat a direction when I should have been listening. Thank you. That's what makes graduation so sad, not being able to see all of you every day. I'm going to miss being around people who genuinely wanted me to win in life. I wish they m knew how much they all mean to me. I hated myself a lot. I laughed off issues I should have cried about. They taught me my worth. How do you repay someone for giving you the strength to go on when you're tired, when you don't have the confidence within yourself? They accepted me as a package, loved me and my child. That's all I could have asked for. I can't wait to keep striving for greatness because I know I have everything in me to succeed. I probably wrote this speech over 10 times because I didn't want to sound like a typical teen mom. I'll never be typical, I'm Melanie. I never would have thought I'd be this strong, but here I am. Sometimes we felt like giving up, like it wasn't worth the tears but nothing feels better than how it feels right now. To the class of 2019, we have so much greatness inside of us. This is only the beginning. My advice to you all is to live your best lives despite how many people doubt you, despite how many obstacles you face, break every barrier you can because it wasn't worth it if you didn't have to fight to get there. When one door, op when one door closes, another will open, so don't get discouraged. If you have a passion, run with it and never settle for less. Words can express how proud I am of everyone sitting here today. We worked hard and we deserve it. So how does it feel to be a 2019 graduate? Thank you. That's great. Thank you, Melanie. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Assistant Superintendent Hans Ott to give our commencement address. Thank you, Melanie and Mariah. Thank you so very much. Graduates, welcome. Round of applause for our 2019 graduates. Principal Gower, Principal Wolf, colleagues, families, and of course our graduates, I am delighted to be here and offer my congratulations to all of the distinguished graduates. You heard Director Vanderwert say it as well. We say you are distinguished and we mean it because you have found time to do all the work involved in graduating while you're doing other important work. I don't know you personally. But I do know this, in a world that loves labels, you refuse to be categorized. You have taken risks to get where you're at today. You have learned from every setback. You have turned challenge into opportunity. Many of you have looked fear in the eye and refused to blink. We are proud of you. All of us are proud of you. <laughs> Families. Families, I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to you for trusting us to educate your children. It is both an honor and a privilege. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to help your children grow into successful young adults. School staff, thank you for your commitment, passion, patience, and wisdom you offered these distinguished graduates each and every day. And graduates, 
Through your hard work and dedication, and with the help of your teachers, school staff, community members, mentors, supportive adults, you are finishing high school, and many of you have completed multiple college credits along the way. Your perseverance has brought you here today. My sincere hope for you is that you never lose that drive and passion that has brought you here tonight to the brink of your college career and the rest of your life. As you move forward into that future, I urge you to remember the people who helped you along the way, your family members, your teachers, coaches, counselors, and principals, and last but not least, the friends who positively supported you. In the best way you can thank them, to thank your friends, your families, your educators, is to achieve your dreams. Graduates, on this day, which we celebrate your success, I urge you to get out there and give life everything you've got. And please be assured that you will never be alone. People will be there to help you, just as you will be there to help others in their future journeys. Remember the optimism you feel today and find a way to call it to mind when the going gets tough. Maya Angelou said it better than I could ever say it. Just do right. Right will satisfy, satisfy your soul. It brings you the kind of protection that a bodyguard can't give you. So try to live your life in a way that you will have no regrets, no regrets years after use at all. Through no vir virtue, whether it's inertia or timidity, you aren't going to have regrets. Take up your battles. Take it up. It's yours. This is your life. This is your world. Graduates, make it better. Thank you, and again, congratulations to the class of 2019. Thank you, Assistant Superintendent Hansat. I'd like to introduce Gordon Parks and Agape Principal Tracy Gower to present the class of 2019 to the school board. We're getting close, graduates. All graduates, please stand. Stand up. <laughs> Good evening, students, parents, family members, staff, and honored guests. Class of 2019, this is your day to celebrate your accomplishments as you have completed high school. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone here, all the families, and especially the staff at Agape, Gordon Parks, and Journeys. Each of you has contributed to the success of these graduates, and you have a lot to be proud of. As principal, I'm also very, very proud of each one of you. St. Paul School Board Vice Chair Steve Marchese, it is my pleasure to present to you the Agape, Gordon Parks, and Journeys High Schools graduating class of 2019. As principal, I affirm that each student who receives a diploma today has met or exceeded the requirements for a high school diploma as determined by the State of Minnesota Board of Education and the St. Paul Public Schools Board of Education. And now, the graduating class of 2019, please remain standing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have the poofy hat, so you think a Harry Potter moment is about to happen where I do something magical. So this is about as magical as it gets from the school board member. By the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota and by the Board of Education, of Independent School District number 625, I hereby confer upon each of you the high school diploma with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations, graduates. Okay. Would the first row of graduates please remain standing? The rest can sit down. 
Additional rows, please remain seated till it's your turn. At this time, Corin Saunders from Gordon Parks High School, Mary Gannon from Agape High School, and Shauna Bach from Journeys Secondary School will read the class rolls. Melanie Booker. Christine Tao. Ariana Land. Ia Lee Chua Yang Merlia Lee Nisha Hankerson Lorena Garcia. Delisha Vu. Galenda Vasquez. Sher Poe. Tiwa Pa. Nor play two. Madison Sorensen. Ashley Martinez. Angel Mahmoud. <laughs> Sylvia Gonzalez. <laughs> Miley Hang. <laughs> Mai Tong Vang. Yulisa Martinez. Desiree Williams. Deshana Williams. Sierra Flowers. Aquasia Salas. Amara Traxler. And now for Gordon Parks. <laughs> Mariah Mason. <laughs> Renee Murphy.
Cheyenne Smith. Quinetta Carmichael. Judida Huniel Vasquez. Cheris Jones. Carnesha Brown. La Tu. Mong. Mong Lei. Roberto Lara. Is it Tasia? Tasia Dixon. Xavier Beasley. Anastasia Jefferson. Antonino White. Kenyelle Gray. Xavier Lamberson. Kiela Traxler Owens. Is it Jarek? Jarek Beasley. Brian Frank. Lanasia McEwen. Rondarius Allen. Jaquarius Carter. Jacob Tao. Pazi Vang. Jacob Newman Flower. Flower, Flower Newman. <laughs> Jacob Flower Newman. <laughs> I'm away. Liliana Jacobo. <laughs> Romeo Adams. <laughs> Desmond Garrison. <laughs> Kariana Hurd. Okay. Victor Aguirre Armenta. Gerardo Casanto. Jose Fuentes. Dylan Lee. Mohammed Abdi Shakur. Levi Swore. Jalen Jackson. Prentice Grant. 
<laughs> Christopher Little. Diego. Diego Velasquez Luz. Demetrius Rosas. All right, here we go. Tevin Blessing. <laughs> Haley Vane. Long vein. Okay. Zula Zhang. Takai Wade Jackson. Andre Crowder Jr. Anissa Omar. <laughs> Biftu Mohammed. Nina. Nina Reese. Brian Ortiz Spaulding. Mara <laughs> Maria Palacios Leon. Lisa Guay. Milton Madrid. Shantia Jordan. And now the graduates from Journey Secondary School. Yay. Ian Comer. Seven Nell. David Smith. <laughs> Nina Ingberg. <laughs> Proud of you. Dejan McDonough. <laughs> Proud of you, Marcus. Marcus Abrams. <laughs> Shane Feather. Thomas Nagel. Jackie, Jackie. Jackie Von Davis. Dariana Giles. Okay, students, please rise as we prepare for the recessional. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've been waiting for. I'd like to introduce the graduating class of 2019. Two uh, requests. Students, please proceed to the green room at this time to get your diplomas. And audience, 
please exit the right doors. Um, the next graduating group from Humboldt will come in these doors. So please exit those. And thank you. <laughs>